This is from a show called Tipping Point. The left plans a military coup against President Trump. Fears grow that Trump will use the military in dictatorial ways if he returns to the White House. So we're planning on beating him to it. Is Welcome that the idea? Welcome back to Tipping Point. I'm your host, Kara McKinney. Hi, Kara. How are you? NBC is running a full-length screed on treason, but since Orange Man bad, treason, I guess, is the new patriotism. Just like they tell us, huh? they have to destroy democracy in order to save it. I don't know what that means. I guess that's because you can't vote for him because he violated his oath. Case in point, attempts to kick President Trump off the ballot. Right, that's exactly. Uh, you know, he could have... As long, he could have done all of Jan 6 if he hadn't taken his oath first. By judicial fiat. Like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the show. I go through this shit for you guys so that you can go, oh, I know where that stupid talking point came from. How many times did we hear all these fake fears about President Trump plotting to use the military to overthrow the government and install himself as dictator? There yeah, I mean, he tried. That's You did see the video of Jan 6, right? He just failed. Honestly, is no one more delusional in all the psych wards in this nation than the left-wing elites that we have? Because while President Trump was in office, it was former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and everyone's least favorite general, Mark Milley, who were going behind the back of the commander-in-chief to withhold from him the nuclear codes and to coordinate with China, at least Milley was doing so, to give them a heads up, a warning in case President Trump was ever going to order a strike against them or their hold. No, he was he was basically saying that we're we are staying with this the doctrine of not not first striking. Don't think he's actually going to do it because he wasn't. And secondarily, they didn't hide the nuclear codes from him. He forgot where they were. Again, I will repeat it until I'm blue in the face because Blue in the dress. Because it's the less left's playbook. Straight out of Saul Linsky. Accuse your politi political enemy of what you yourself is guilty of. That are, gu are guilty of. There I go. Accusing you of grammar bad when not speak good. Boy, is there f face egg. Well, no one could ever suspect the left of wanting to stage an actual military coup against the duly elected president of the United States. Why would we want to do that to Biden? Because that's something Trump would only ever do, right? That's what the media tells me all the time. Well, I mean, they also tell you that he's not president right now, that Trump is not president. You do know that, right? See how brilliantly that propaganda works. And that allows him to get away with his NBC piece, which literally reads as follows. A network of public interest groups and lawmakers nervous about former President Trump's potential return to power is quietly devising plans to foil any effort on his part to pressure the U.S. military to carry out his political agenda. Right, and you wouldn't want his political agenda to be carried out. You'd want simply what's in the best uh, interest of the United States to be carried out. The military is under the civilian control of the president for a reason. An attempt right, but also not... It's not, that reason is not so that the president can use the military to enact his political whims if he can't get the votes in Congress, for example. To undo that, as they just insinuated, is playing with a very, very dangerous fire. And all Isn't all fire dangerous in general? I mean, it certainly has the potential. Also, doesn't this remind you of that infamous Time Magazine article published in February of 2021? in which they gloated how it leads from big business to big law to politicians and a number of other powerful professions all got together to use their respective powers to deny President Trump, well, the presidency. Yeah, I don't think that's, that didn't, that wouldn't have saved the election. That would have saved, I guess, the country from Trump or something like that. But the election being saved, and you, you do realize they're showing the dude who carried the Confederate flag in the fucking Capitol, who's a Trump supporter, right? You, yeah. That's what they call fortifying elections. They literally bragged about stealing the election through the deep state while gaslighting us that it never happened. Yeah, but I mean, you got to give us credit. I mean, the Dems weren't even in power at the time. Really, Trump was president of the United States and, and Biden fucking nut punched him and he never saw it coming. I just, I got to say, and considering how great Trump is and how smart now he knows things, he knows more than the generals. He knows all the best words and all the best people. And Biden was able to just kick his ass from a fucking basement in Delaware? I, I mean, I feel the more you talk about this, the safer I feel with uh, with Joe Biden at the helm. This new NBC piece gives me the same eerie feeling. Joy well, that's good, though. I, I mean, I like that you're a bit paranoid. I don't expect anything different. But. Joining us now to discuss is former law enforcement officer Mike Puglis, the founder of the Puglis Law Firm. Mike, as always, thanks for being here tonight. 
Thanks, Mike Puglisi from the Puglisi Law Firm. Hold on, I'm going to take this over here. Um, uh, no, I need this one. Is he live? Okay, nope, they're still fucking scanning the room. I'm going to put this um, on, a, uh, on a different monitor so that if it comes up, we'll get back to it. Okay. Kara, thank you for having me. Yeah, they see the room. Thank you for having me and my shit mic. Writing on the wall that uh, 80 million Americans are choosing President Trump, and they're choosing him for a reason. N no, they're not. He got 50% in Iowa. Because he stands to strengthen our republic. Well, then why did not all of them show up for him in Iowa? Are you telling me that only 50% of Republicans care about this country? Well, I mean, those are harsh words, something I would never say about my fellow Americans the way you do, but uh, I'm sure you'll explain it. And get America straight and right again on the right path. Let's right and straight and straight and right. Right wing and straight as a fucking straight and not gay at all. Said, Article 2, Section 2, Clause 1 of the Presidential Powers Act says clearly, the president shall serve as commander in chief over our military forces. The end of that period. Right, but he can't, to uphold the laws of the country, to faithfully execute them, and to protect the Constitution, he doesn't get to just have automatic control over them to get whatever fucking, he can't send the entire military to go get him a fucking Diet Coke, you tit. These people don't go by the Constitution. We know their agenda now. They see that the pres that President Trump will most likely win not only the primary, but the, the, but the, uh, the actual election against Joe the actual election? Biden. The general, you mean? And they see what's going to happen. And now their agenda is clearly, they're going to try to abolish the presidential spot position altogether. That's right. That's that's our goal. Is Before Biden even leaves office, we're going to abolish having a president. And limit his powers in every which way we can imagine. Okay, you do realize that since Biden is president, any any powers we take away from Trump, we also take away from the president we elected. You, you, you get, you follow me? Now, when have we have seen, what we have witnessed under the current regime and under the Obama administration also? Well, they have weaponized the DOJ. They have weaponized the FBI. To well, it's self-defense, I would Spy on President Trump. No, they didn't spy on him. They, they were spying on bad people, and he just happened to be canoodling with them all the time. And his campaign at that time in 2016, and it continued on. We During his presidency? We also see where Mark Milley was going to call China, his counterpart, and tell him if uh, any strategic acts that President Trump may take to go against China and protect the United States. No, that's not the case. He, he simply called them to say, we're not going to launch a, a first strike. You guys don't launch a first strike. If shit happens, we're going to, yeah, I guess, do this in the old 50, fisticuffs ways. But we're, we still have that doctor. I don't know what the fuck. It, it, by the way, was Trump ever floating the idea that during COVID, he was going to launch a fir nuclear first strike on China because of COVID? That would be the news. If, if, if That's why Millie felt like he had to make that fucking phone call because Trump was getting closer to it every goddamn day. This is what we're seeing. They're totally undermining the presidency. Why would they do that? Why, why, aren't they giving Biden more powers than any dictator in House? How's Biden supposed to be a dictator if we're undermining his power? I mean, honestly. And, uh, you know. What happens when we put Michelle Obama in there and you guys can't do shit about it and we've taken her power away to get her groove on? Are you out of your mind? This is ridiculous. You like to just laugh it off and say these. Yeah, I do. I mean, I what you're saying, what she's saying. Yeah, of course. You guys live in a fantasy land, but it's real. This No, no, it's no, it's not. It really isn't. These people are real and they're targeting our republic and they can't stand. Why would they target their our republic when they're in it? You're 100% right. You know, the Founding Fathers, they mm -hmm. chose this clause for a reason. They put Santa or Mrs. this in there for a reason. Right. So that the military um, didn't have control over the presidency, not the other way around. But not so that the president could just keep himself in fucking office. And that is because they just left tyranny. And they want to make sure that you didn't have a separate military, that you could actually have a dictator. Right, your own private military as the president. What the fuck is the difference? And overthrow our civilian form of government. Right, 
to avoid people like Donald Trump. That's exactly the point. And uh, and that's the real insurrection is what we're witnessing uh, with these buffoons trying to uh, go this. Baffoons? I think it's buffoon, but you know, whatever. And I shouldn't use the, rep the word buffoon. He's yeah, you shouldn't because it's not a word. It's buffoon. I think you're mixing up baboon and buffoon. Perhaps that's the problem. Also, uh, like, subscribe, give a thumbs up. Patreon.com slash Harold Sparks. I mean, you just could, you know, do that. Brilliant. And uh, and this is what they're working towards. All right. And then, and then they're just playing them out with, like, music.